Today we're going to talk about how to master the moment right now when you're manifesting. So, let's get into it, guys. Hello everyone, my name is Al and welcome to my channel Simply Create with Al. And if you're new here, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I am here making manifesting easier for you, sharing all my tips and advice so that you can use them to create the life you have always dreamed of. And if you're in need of coaching, go to my description box. All information is there. But right now, let's get into today's topic. Today we're talking about how to master the moment right now. And I understand that it can be really difficult because of the contrast. So here we are, we look at ourselves in the 3D where nothing is happening and our desire seems so far away from us. That's the contrast. But this also means that you are living too much in the 3D. You are believing too much in the 3D. The 3D has a hold on you, has power over you. And that's not, not the place from where we manifest, okay? The 3D means absolutely nothing. Because if you believe that you are really manifesting, that you can manifest, you know that everything is taking you where you want to be. The proof for your manifestation, if it's working or not, lies within you. It's your feeling, okay? How is it? Do you feel stable in the state of the wish fulfilled? Do you feel like it is yours? That this is the most important thing. Not the 3D. But if you are giving the 3D so much power over you, okay, then it's not going to be possible to keep the state of the wish fulfilled because you're basically saying I have to see to believe that's not how it works we are walking by faith and not by sight when we manifest and Neville said if you seek to realize your future dream it needs to become a present fact in your mind and he's talking about the state of the wish fulfilled you have to stay in that feeling no matter what, okay? And I often hear people saying, but I am leaving the state of the wish fulfilled and nothing's happening. Okay, so if something was happening, it would be your reality. We are leaving the state of the wish fulfilled because it hasn't manifested yet, okay? We create the things we want to manifest, the people we want to manifest, within us first, okay? The world within us lead. The world outside us follow. Neville also said, I cannot encounter events that are in conflict with my assumptions. So whatever is going on, either you have assumed that that was a possibility, right? If things are going south and you have had the assumption or you have the assumption that things are not working out for you then that's a part of it because you are living the end that things don't work out for you okay or if you are true if you are faithful to the state of the wish fulfilled then it's part of the plan and we don't have to understand the plan okay that's so important we don't have to understand it we just have to know that everything is taking us there where we want to be, okay? It doesn't matter if we think we have a better plan than awarenesses or God's plan, okay? No. These things are not for us to decide. But when we have reached that state of the wish fulfilled and we know everything is working out for us, everything is part of the journey, then we can finally focus on other things, on other projects, right? We can focus on more on ourselves, on making this moment the best it can be, okay? Following our bliss, basically. But this is something that we can do because we have faith, we have trust that everything is indeed working out for us. So guys, that's it from me. 
Thank you so much for being here. If you like this video, please give me a like, subscribe to my channel, and we are going to talk soon. Bye, guys. <laughs>